The share of electricity generated by renewable energies is rapidly growing. As a result, we have a phase-out of the conventional power plants and more regional provision of energy by means of decentralized and distributed energy resources. On the other hand, the demand for energy is growing and that means we need to use it more efficiently. Renewable power sources such as wind and solar are variables by nature and this adds complexity to the grid topology. Combining the conventional power generation and the renewable energies and storage is one of the main challenges of an intelligent grid. With a smart grid, a two-way dialogue is introduced where the electricity and information can be exchanged between the energy providers and the end consumers. A smart grid is a developing network of communications, controls, automations, and new technologies. Lucas Nulle training systems convey the complex interactions from the generation of energy to the transmission and distribution of energy and finally to the use of that energy. Every training station can be used autonomously but in a smart grid they can all operate together intelligently. A typical smart grid laboratory includes different sources of conventional and renewable power generation and storage systems which allow the energy to be fed to the mains when it is needed. Integration of the Lucas Nulles photovoltaic system into the smart grid permits the trainees to investigate the operation of such facilities. Functions of the photovoltaic three-phase inverter, provision of reactive power for grid stabilization, active power derating, maximum power point tracking, and voltage regulation with local network transformer are just some of the topics covered in the associated interactive learning material. Using the wind power plant training system, a realistic emulation of a wind turbine is made possible. Synchronization of a double-fed induction generator with the grid is performed both manually and automatically using the virtual instruments. Furthermore, the training system provides a wide range of topics relating to the regulation methods of wind power plants such as active and reactive power control and pitch control. Should a fault occur, the faulty generating station cannot simply be disconnected from the grid as before. Modern wind plants need to be able to carry out a number of additional functions in order to respond to the breakdowns. The fault right through module integrated in the wind power plant shows the students the mechanisms and effects involved for wind power plants to continue operating in the event of fault. The experiments can also be performed in the absence of wind inside the laboratory, thereby ensuring a safe environment for the students. Conventional power plants such as coal, nuclear, hydro, gas and combined cycle are emulated using the setup and the associated SCADA interface. Using the system, the students will learn about the synchronization of a synchronous generator to the grid and generator protection. An island operation of one or more generation units forming a microgrid is as well feasible. Here, the main generator sets the parameters to form a grid in an island operation and then the effects on frequency and voltage can be observed when connecting loads or other generators. Different controlling techniques such as droop control are used here to stabilize the system and reduce fluctuations. The major benefit here is a direct link between the theoretical learning and its practical application. A variety of dynamic and static loads can be used to emulate different consumers in the electrical grid. Students will also learn how to perform automatic reactive power compensation with capacitor battery like it is commonly used in the industry. The smart metering and measurement devices installed all through the systems establish a both-way communication between the utility and the end user. Demand-side management is a concept for managing loads in order to increase the flexibility of the demand 
for electricity and to reduce costs. Depending on the application in question, different types of load control such as peak shaving and load shifting can be implemented. Power generation and consumption can be coordinated by means of a smart grid. Power distribution includes networking and electrical interconnection of sources or sinks. This is realized here using the double bus bar system. Each panel consists of two isolators and a circuit breaker and can be operated manually or by means of SCADA interface. The double bus bar module is used to study the fundamentals of power distribution and switching techniques for changing bus bar operation without interruption of power flow. Transmission of power can be realistically emulated by means of the high voltage overhead transmission line and cable models with variable length. The trainees can learn about different circumstances and load scenarios as well as the effects of the length and other measures on the voltage drop. When two different power grids with different frequencies or voltage levels must be coupled, or for reducing the power transmission losses and minimizing undesirable effects, the high voltage DC transmission lines come into consideration. Using the training model, this topic can be extensively thought. Combined with the wind power plant system and the pump storage power plant, a realistic emulation of complex projects in a laboratory is practicable. It is also possible to deploy protective technologies in all aspects of power engineering. Combining all the systems builds up a realistic downsized model of a smart grid reflecting the latest state of the art. SCADA refers to the real-time monitoring, control and data acquisition of technical processes. SCADA Designer and SCADA Viewer allow all the measurements and states of the devices in the system to be displayed in real time. Key parameters and signals can also be controlled by the software. Important parameters can be selected, recorded, and displayed over a period of time. They can also be evaluated and exported. Challenging students with interesting research projects is also possible with the embedded Lucas Nulle SCADA PLC and Panel Designer. Within the SCADA for PowerLab software, a SCADA OPC client is provided. Further process control hardware or advanced data processing tools such as MATLAB can as well be integrated. A number of threads can affect information technology at industrial plants and therefore necessitate corresponding measures. Implementing the cybersecurity training model into the smart grid system prepares the students with important topics such as configuration of LAN security router, analyzing network protocols, remote maintenance, reviewing access authorization, and integration of devices into a security structure. The smart grid set is an extensive and well-rounded training system for power engineering featuring the state-of-the-art technology. Let your education prepare you for the future.